Hey guys, welcome to the 4CV1BB tournament. Uh, this is the first uh, semi final. This is uh, Team Navy Field versus uh, Bad at Moving Furniture, or Banff. Uh, right now, um, these teams are playing obviously for a spot in the finals, and the loser will go into the third place playoff. Um, I won't mention who the other semi final participants are if you don't want to get like, spoilers or whatnot if you're watching the quarterfinals, but do watch them. They are uploaded and they're all pretty epic in their own respect. Um, Banff right now are playing with a Bismarck, a Kaga 28, an Arc Royal, an Essex, and a Sparvero. Um, you can see the Bismarck pushing out already. Uh, conversely, Team Navyfield are playing with an Essex, Graf Zeppelin 2, Joffrey, Arc, Ro Joffrey, Arc Royal, and a Nagato. The game's now live. Now, what I don't understand is, when I'm looking at this, is Bismarck's pushing out and Nagato's pushing out. Bismarck has range on the Nagato, and the Nagato's going north, which means he's going to be ranged. Yeah, he's been ranged. He's, he's just got nuked. It's not even been 60 seconds yet for the rest of the retreat, and, and the Nagato's getting absolutely nuked here. What's going on here? Is there a fact? And he's still going at it. He's obviously seen him. He knows what's happening, and he's still continuing to choose to fight in a north-south engagement against a ship that has more range, who is moving away and luring him in. Oh, this is not good. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> what's going on? Oh, right, so 0 1 to Banff. Um, now TNF's in a pickle because, you know, their Nagato had a bit of a suicide rush. Um, and you can see the Banff has totally got the skies and the air protected on their, uh, their Bismarck, and they've got some torpedo bombers going out there as well for Banff. Um, which, ooh, actually, they look like they might be picked off by the fires if he's not careful. They know where the CVs are. Um, so now. Uh, <laughs> if I was TNF, I don't know what to do, because I have to bomb a Bismarck that can go 42 knots. It's probably close, not maybe not repair cap, but he's going to have some pretty decent resilience there. You're going to need to get at least two bomb waves in close succession to get him, and look at all that fighter cover going on. Plus, they're going to have to deal with those torpedo bombers coming in as well. And the Bismarck's already laying into the CVs, this looks like him over. And we can see some UK torpedo bombers uh, from the Ark. He's the one being laid into right now by the Bismarck. Uh, two TP bombers passing each other. Uh, it's just been shot up. I mean, they don't even have sight denial for the TNF. I mean, I've seen if I'd try and sight, you know, prevent it seeing. So we've got some German dive bombers. Uh, we had some UK torpedo bombers in the south, which I didn't see. Um, and the Ark's dead, so it's unlikely they fired those uh, torpedo bombers. Uh, no, well, he did, but it was a desperation thing at the very end, but they didn't hit. So now we have some torpedo bombers. From the Banff team against TNF, uh, most of them hit, maybe not off center line hits, but it looks like the Joffrey has a lot of bulge, so that's kind of effect. All of the German dive bombers have been intercepted here, so Banff is playing the massive um, fighter protection game right now, just basically loading one or two waves of fighters per CV and then just keeping them out there, regardless of the fuel. It's all about protecting that Bismarck right now, because um, it's so early in the game, you're going to have so many planes. Uh, and of course, the torpedo bombers that we use to try and hit the uh, Joffrey from the BAMP team are just staying out there to provide sight. So this is this is going to be over soon already. Uh, and now they're running out of fuel. But the fact is, you got a new set of planes coming and providing sight. So uh, would appear that uh, TNF are going to go into the third, fourth place playoff uh, match and. Uh, uh, Banff are going to go on to the finals, which is uh, it's really interesting considering that the fleet was her last minute replacement um, that came in and are doing really well as a, as a sort of last second get together. Right, well, actually, for now they've actually gone blind, so Banff needs to get the sight back. As soon as they get the sight back, you know, they're, uh, you know, their Bismarck can just. So yeah, Bismarck needs some sight, and then the game will be over. Um, I can't really see this going against Banff now. I mean, they're already down two CVs TNF, and they're being cornered into the hole in the top left. If they're not careful, they might actually accidentally retreat, just make things even worse. And the question is, if you lose a CV, um, how do you set up the CVs? Because if you make it so that one CV is dedicated, is, uh, as I was saying, dedicated to... Um, dive bombing and you lose that CEV, well then you're gonna have three fighter horn CVs. So the question is if you if you have seven pilots, do you go with one CV that has nothing but seven dive bombing pilots so you can focus on very fast, quick launches, two waves and getting them out there? Or do you just have it so that let's say five pilots are of one role, so maybe say fighters. Uh, so you've got some 
German dive bombers missing badly there for TNF. So as I was saying, you have five pilots. Uh, you could have two pilots for one wave and three for the second wave. At the same time, you could have then pilots six and seven being an alternate plane type. So you'd have two waves of fighters and one of bombers. Or you could have two waves of bombers and one of fighters. So that way, if some ship gets knocked out, you still have some sort of redundancy. You know, like in this instance, let's say these both these TNF the CBs were only fighters only, then you'd still be able to launch a wave of bombers and try and get a hit in. Um, the difference being that if you're a dedicated bomber, you could get two waves up much quicker, but you wouldn't have any fighter protection. And the thing is, if you lose that bomber CV, then it's kind of much game over. So anyway, TNF has lost this. Uh, Banff is going to head on to the finals. So congrats to them. They're guaranteed a prize. And um, we'll hopefully see you guys recording and enjoy the other uh, commentaries on my YouTube channel. So catch you later, guys.